World War I, often termed as the Great War, was a global conflict that unfolded from 1914 to 1918, involving many of the world's great powers. Central to the war's battlefield strategies was trench warfare, a grueling form of combat where opposing forces attacked, counterattacked, and defended from relatively permanent systems of trenches dug into the ground. These trenches stretched from the North Sea to the Swiss frontier with France, epitomizing the war of attrition that defined much of the conflict. In this video, we delve into the daily lives of the soldiers who called these trenches home. From the muddy floors to the constant threat of enemy fire, we will explore how these men endured the physical and psychological challenges of trench life, painting a vivid picture of resilience and survival in one of history's most devastating wars. The construction of trenches during World War I was a strategic yet labor-intensive endeavor designed to provide maximum protection from enemy fire and artillery. Typically, trenches were dug in a zigzagging or stepped pattern to prevent enemies from firing straight down the trench line, thus reducing casualties in case of an attack. The trench system was complex, consisting of several parallel lines. The frontline trenches closest to the enemy, support trenches for additional troops, and reserve trenches where soldiers could retreat if needed. Each trench was about seven feet deep and six feet wide, allowing soldiers some room to maneuver. Within these confines, various features were incorporated to enhance defense and livability. Dugouts, often carved into the sides of trenches, provided shelter from the elements and enemy shells. Fire steps, raised areas at the bottom of the trench, enabled soldiers to shoot over the top while remaining protected. Surrounding the trenches were extensive barbed wire defenses designed to slow down and entangle attacking troops. The design of trenches varied slightly between the Allied and Central Powers, reflecting different military philosophies and terrain challenges. Allied trenches often had more sophisticated and deeper dugouts, reflecting a more defensive strategy, while German trenches were sometimes constructed with concrete and were generally regarded as being of higher quality in terms of both comfort and durability. This variation in trench architecture not only influenced the living conditions but also the effectiveness of each side's wartime strategies. The daily life of soldiers in the trenches during World War I was marked by a routine structured around the necessities of war and the harsh realities of trench living. A typical day began with the stand-to before dawn, where soldiers took their positions to guard against a potential early morning enemy attack. This was followed by the daily inspection of arms and the distribution of breakfast, usually consisting of bread and a bacon or jam ration, if available. Sentry duty was a constant necessity, with soldiers rotating in shifts to keep a vigilant watch over no man's land, despite the weather or time of day. The conditions within the trenches were brutal. The narrow, confined spaces were not only muddy, but often waterlogged, leading to an environment where pests such as rats and lice thrived. The mud was more than just an inconvenience. It was a perpetual menace, causing soldiers to become stuck or even burying them alive during heavy bombardments. Overcrowding was another significant issue, with too many soldiers crammed into small sections of the trench, exacerbating tension and discomfort. Hygiene and health issues were paramount concerns. The constant dampness and cold led to trench foot, a painful condition caused by prolonged exposure to wet and unsanitary conditions which could lead to gangrene and amputation if untreated. Lice were ubiquitous, spreading disease and adding to the soldiers' misery. Efforts to maintain sanitation included the construction of latrines at the rear of the trenches and the use of lime to neutralize waste and reduce odor. Soldiers were encouraged to keep themselves in their uniforms as clean as possible, though the reality of trench life made true cleanliness nearly impossible. Despite these hardships, soldiers developed a routine that incorporated cleaning, repairing equipment, and fortifying the trench system during quieter periods. Meals, when they could be properly cooked, provided not only nourishment, but also a much needed break from the monotony and despair of trench life. The camaraderie among troops, born of shared suffering, and the necessity of relying on one another, became a crucial coping mechanism in the face of such relentless adversity. The psychological strain of trench warfare during World War I was profound, 
With the constant threat of death and the relentless bombardment taking a severe toll on soldiers' mental health. The term shell shock was coined during the war to describe the symptoms of psychological trauma many soldiers exhibited, such as fatigue, tremor, confusion, nightmares, and impaired sight and hearing. This condition reflected the overwhelming impact of the continuous explosions and the brutal reality of combat. Psychological resilience was tested daily, and soldiers developed various coping mechanisms to endure the strain. Singing, writing in journals, and bonding with comrades through shared experiences of hardship helped mitigate the effects of stress. Communication played a vital role in maintaining morale. Letters from home were a lifeline for many soldiers, offering emotional support and a connection to the lives they had left behind. Receiving news and tokens from loved ones provided a significant boost in spirits and a reminder of what they were fighting for. Within the trenches, communication among soldiers was not only crucial for tactical reasons, but also for psychological support. Sharing stories, jokes, and even complaints helped to forge strong bonds of brotherhood, which were essential for emotional survival in such harsh conditions. The mental resilience required to cope with the horrors of trench warfare is a testament to the spirit and endurance of the soldiers. Their ability to maintain hope and camaraderie in the face of overwhelming adversity remains one of the most poignant aspects of the Great War. Combat in the trenches of World War I was characterized by brutal and often stagnant fighting. The area between opposing trench lines, known as no man's land, was typically strewn with barbed wire and landmines, making any crossing extremely perilous. Offensive actions usually began with a massive artillery bombardment intended to destroy enemy defenses and cause chaos. Following the barrage, soldiers would go over the top, leaving the safety of their trenches to charge across no man's land. These attacks were often met with heavy casualties due to relentless machine gun fire and counterattacks from the enemy. The role of technology in trench warfare was significant. Artillery was the most dominant force on the battlefield, used extensively to bombard enemy lines before infantry attacks. The sheer volume of shells fired created apocalyptic landscapes and led to high casualties. Machine guns, strategically positioned to cover vast stretches of no man's land, could mow down waves of advancing troops, effectively stalling many offensives. The introduction of poison gas added a new level of horror to the trenches, capable of causing widespread injury and death, and forcing the development of gas mass as a critical defensive tool. Defense strategies in trench warfare were complex and continuously evolving. Apart from the passive defenses of barbed wire and deep dugouts, active strategies like trench raids were conducted. These raids involved small groups of soldiers sneaking into enemy trenches to gather intelligence, disrupt operations, or capture prisoners. These actions were risky, but essential for obtaining firsthand information about enemy positions and plans. The constant need to improve trench defenses and adapt to new enemy tactics made innovation a crucial aspect of trench warfare, reflecting the grim ingenuity driven by the necessities of survival and victory. Life in the trenches during World War I spurred a remarkable range of adaptations and innovations as soldiers sought to improve their grim conditions. Personal comforts and makeshift tools became essential for daily survival. For instance, soldiers improvised waterproof covers for their rifles from scraps of material and used jam tins and pieces of metal to construct makeshift grenades, which were pivotal in trench raids. Cooking was often a creative affair, with soldiers using helmets to boil water or heat meals. Cultural activities also played a crucial role in maintaining morale. Trench art, a form of creative expression, saw soldiers crafting intricate artworks from spent ammunition shells and other battlefield debris. These pieces not only provided a psychological escape, but also helped to preserve a sense of humanity amid the war's chaos. Music and singing were pervasive, with troops often organizing impromptu concerts using makeshift instruments. Games and sports, ranging from cards to football matches during ceasefires, offered both physical diversion and a temporary return to normalcy. These adaptations and cultural expressions were not just about survival, 
They were manifestations of resilience, helping soldiers cope with the war's harsh realities and forging bonds of camaraderie that would last a lifetime. This exploration of life in the trenches during World War I has revealed the extreme conditions under which soldiers lived and fought. From the intricate design of the trenches themselves to the daily routines that structured a soldier's life, each aspect was a testament to the resilience required in the face of constant danger. The psychological impact was profound, with shell shock emerging as a significant, lasting effect on those who survived. Innovations and in cultural activities helped soldiers maintain a semblance of normalcy and mental health. The long-term impact on those who served was immense, affecting their physical and mental health for years to come. Understanding these aspects of the Great War is crucial. It not only honors the memory of those who endured these harrowing conditions, but also offers vital lessons on the human cost of conflict and the strength of spirit necessary to face such trials. The legacy of trench warfare serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the resilience of the human spirit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Sharing this video with your friends helps us grow and create more content just for you. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay awesome.